everyone welcome back to the channel it is faces by Brittany here and today i'll be sharing with you my top 10 arabian fragrances that i'm looking forward to wearing this fall okay so if you're interested in knowing what those fragrances are then just keep on watching <music> Before I forget, because I literally did forget, so I'm just inserting this. <laughs> My lip combo. So, I am wearing Wet n Wild's Lip Liner in Sema Brown. Then I have on this Sephora, um, like, little silver. The ones that come in the silver packaging. This is, I guess it's 1343C. This is what the top looks like. And then I have on my brand lip gloss. This is so 90s. Okay, in no particular order, I'm just grabbing them. The first one is Dahab by Kajal. This fragrance is the fragrance that I wore for my birthday last year. And she is a heavy hitter, okay? I'm going to list the notes for y'all so that you can see what this has in it. But I know that it has a fruity note, like a Granny Smith note um, in here. I feel like this is heavy enough to wear at night. Um, you can pull it off during the day, but it is, like I said, a beast mode fragrance. They're going to smell you all the way outside of the building type beast mode. This is on the pricier side um, compared to the other fragrances I'm going to show you in this video. So this is going to run you about maybe $115, $20 on like discounter sites. I'm um, not sure how much they want for retail. Probably like $200 something to be honest. But I wouldn't say pay that price for it. But that's only because I got it for 100 something. I'm not saying that ain't worth 200 something. I'm not saying that, but she is a beast. She is fruity. She is warm. She layers well. She can be worn by herself. Okay. This is going to be on the like more fun, uplifting side for like a fall fragrance. So again, that is the Hob by Kajal. Then we have Assam Gold. Assam Gold is to be a dupe for Oriana by Perfumes de Marley. And it's supposed to be a dupe of Killian's perfume, I believe, Love Don't Be Shy. This one is really, really pretty. Um, Last year, I wore this in fall and winter. I just felt like it was a little too heavy and gourmand for me in the hotter months. It is like a sweet, um, like maybe it's like an orange blossom in here and marshmallow. This is really, really pretty. It layers well. She lasts all day. This is maybe like between $20 and $30. I'm pretty sure I purchased mine from maybe TikTok or Amazon. So this one I would definitely recommend for the fall time. It's more playful. I feel like this will really thrive during the day versus the night um, because it is more fun and playful. And it has that orange blossom. I believe it's an orange blossom. Because I smell like something fruity and citrusy in here. Definitely check this one out um, for this fall. You may be able to pull this out like during the winter. Um, but I love wearing this during the fall. So, so pretty. Definitely super affordable. Like look at this big old heavy package. This is 100 ml. Like this is a lot. The bottle isn't doing too much because y'all know Latifa like to do a lot with their bottles now. Um, but this is just enough. Razzle dazzle. Okay, I'm not mad at this bottle. Um, so yes, again, that is Assam Gold. Next, we have Club de Nuit Imperial. So this is a dupe for Perfumes de Marley, um, Delina Exclusive, and... They did really good on this. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I am not gonna lie. They did really good on this. I feel like this one is not as powdery as the OG. And I feel like it's a little bit sweeter. 
which if you have a problem with the powderiness of the OG, then you will really, really like this. I don't have an issue with it. <laughs> I tell y'all every chance I get, I do not have an issue with it at all. But if that's something that you did kind of struggle with and you was like, mm, that's a little too much, then definitely check out this one. I purchased mine from Amazon. She was $35. And again, 100 ml. All of them are 100 ml that I'm going to show y'all. This smells so good. I'm not going to lie. This smells really, really good. And it's a very good alternative to the OG. I mean, do you want to pay $375 or do you want to pay $35? It's like you're paying ties off of <laughs> the OG. So definitely, if you're a baddie on a budget, because we done spent enough. We spent enough. Um, definitely check out Club de Nuit Imperial. She is really, really pretty and she lasts all day. We are gonna keep it in the Club de Nuit family. So we have Untold. She is so, so cute. This is to be a dupe for what inspired um, scent of Baccarat Rouge. But this doesn't smell like Baccarat Rouge. Like I can get that's what they're trying to um, dupe, but it's not um, Baccarat Rouge. This one to me is a lot sweeter and it's more dense. But baby, when I tell you, this bad boy lasts all day. I'm talking minimum 12 hours. This lasts all day. And that is without me allowing it to macerate 12 hours. So I can only imagine how much longer it will last. This thing is a beast for sure. The bottle is super, super cute. I believe, again, this was maybe around $35 and um i got it from amazon this is a beast if anybody is trying to sell this for any more than that do not don't but um i was going to purchase mine from tiktok but i felt like amazon would get to me faster than tiktok because y'all know i love shopping tiktok y'all be scared but i don't <laughs> i don't yeah this one is a beast like she is definitely going to perform I mean, do you want to pay $325 for a 2.5 or do you want to pay $25 for a 3.4? The math has to start mathing. I'm sorry if you are one of those girlies who wants to wear the OG and don't respect the Inspire and Dupe fragrances. I don't mind that. Sometimes I do. I'm like, dag, like y'all can't let the niche brands have nothing. But, I mean, somebody got to... Somebody got to do it, I guess. But this one is pretty. It doesn't smell like a dupe. But you can tell it's inspired by Baccarat Rouge. And, I mean, can you really be mad? The presentation, the performance, the price, like, come on now. So this one I'm definitely going to be pulling out during the fall. We have Nebris. So this is by La Tapa. This, I believe, I paid maybe 30 something dollars off of TikTok. Um, this is an inspired of Billie Eilish number one. I feel like this, you can really get the cacao in this for sure. Um, I'm really looking forward to wearing this. I have not um, worn it yet because I've been pulling out Billie, but I am going to start using this for sure. I'm so looking forward to using this because when I first smelt this, I was taken aback. I said, are you serious? Are you serious? Like, I'm not mad at the bottle again because Latafa has been doing them a bit much. Maybe they got a lot of supply and demand in there, but it's cute, simple, not doing too much. And I just love how weighty they are. It's like, the quality is definitely there. Um, we can't even get this quality and stuff that's eighty dollars and plus like up. So with this being thirty, it's heavy. You can carry it by the lid or the cap, and it performs like this is a gorgeous, gorgeous gourmand scent. I believe this will do well in cooler days, and this will carry you into the night for sure. This is a gorgeous scent. So if you like those 
cacao, spicy, gourmand, sugary scents, definitely check out Nebris by La Tapa. Amethyst, this is also by La Tapa. I purchased mine from Amazon. I believe this was again in that $30 range. This to me is like a deep, dark rose, seductive scent. This is not for, I don't, in my opinion, this isn't youthful, but it's not mature. It's grown woman. And you have to like a, a deep, dark rose. This is going to be gorgeous on cooler nights. She performs like no other. This, I forgot, um, I forgot which one is duping, but I know it's a scent by Initio. Atomic Rose is the one that um, is supposed to be duping from what I heard, okay? I smell Atomic Rose, love it, but do I love that price? No, I don't. I do love $30. So I'm gonna get a $30 bottle and she cute, like she has some weight to her, like even the bottom of it, it has a gold plated bottom, like girl, what? This is beautiful to me. I'm pretty sure you can get samples of it to see if maybe you like that. But like I said, definitely a rose forward scent. It'll do beautiful cooler nights. So, so pretty. If you are one of those girls where you don't really care if it's day or night, like oftentimes I am because if I'm going to put it on, I'm going to put it on. But this one, you don't need much of it. It's sweet, a little powdery, because the rose is rosing. It is so, so pretty to me. So that is Amethyst by La Tapa. Eclair, as y'all can see in my bottle, I believe it stopped leaking. Um, La Tapa, if you watch this, you never emailed me back. And I don't like that at all. Don't leave me hanging like that. But... This is inspired by Bianco Latte. This one is really pretty. The only thing is it's not beast mode like the OG, which I I love only because I love Bianco Latte. Um, but this one smells like it. It don't perform like Bianco Latte. I'm, I'm letting you know that right now. But she is only $49.50. So I'm going to put in that $0.50 because on top of why you keep raising the prices. Why are we up to $50 now? I don't know. I don't understand. Like, this is a bottle from the top of that I do like. I do think this is pretty. The top is plastic. The bottom is glass. And I think it's cute. Um, this one does perform very well. You will definitely get the compliments with this. It's also a gourmand scent. It's a little spicy. It's sweet. Oh my goodness, like caramel. Like it is really pretty. I'm not gonna lie. I believe this has some white florals in it, but this one is really pretty. I feel like they really nailed it with duplicating the smell of bianco latte but it's just something about bianco latte that it just outperforms this it outperforms it but we're also talking about 150 dollars compared to a 50 dollar fragrance so it is a hundred dollar difference so i expect it to perform better but for the girlies who want bianco but that price ain't wanting you get eclair because she is going to definitely hit that spot so that is Eclair by La Tapa. Okay, Kamara. Yes. This is Kamara Kawa. <sighs> Y'all know this is my favorite one. This is so freaking good. So, this is also my scent of the day. It is so, so gorgeous to me. This is by La Tapa. So, this is... It smells like Angel Share if you added coffee. It's not cinnamony like Angel Share, um, but this one is absolutely beautiful. 
it's sweet you get coffee but it's like you lit the coffee maybe it's decaf like it ain't giving me espresso at all definitely wearable definitely performs like a dream now this one you might find around 50 depending on um, where you purchase it i got this from my daddy he asked for it back because he know what time it is yeah this one is so so gorgeous i love this y'all definitely going to be sending me pull this out fall all the way to the winter back into the spring so get tired you know this one is so so pretty to me um the trick with this one is like sometimes it can be a little hard taking it off but if you twist it it comes right off so that's a little tidbit when um dealing with these bottles these square bottles because yeah it's easier when you just twist it to take it off but that is kamurakawa who would i be to not mention the og okay i got bars so this is camera this is inspired by angel share <sighs> this is so so pretty i kind of want to spray it on it is so pretty the only thing I wish was uh, better was the um, itemizer. I wish it was like a full spray, but it's kind of like a little short spray. Let me see if y'all can see what I'm talking about. It's just a little short little spray. Wow. I feel like this one is sweeter than Killian's Angel Share. I feel like it's not as much cinnamon spice in it which that's what i love about angel share so i am not mad at that do i feel like if you have angel share you need this no not necessarily but if you don't want to pull out your angel share because she is pricey and you still want to smell like you got it on this will do the job this will do the job it's a close enough dupe or inspired version of it but this one is definitely going to give you compliments it is gorgeous it's going to get you through them cold days and nights definitely one to add to the cart one to add to that wish list all of that if you don't have it you can pretty much get this anywhere i'm talking about amazon tiktok <laughs> i keep pushing tiktok on y'all um of course let's have a website but you know i'm not dealing with them because they email me back okay but that is camera by La Tapa. Last but not least, because I'm kind of sneaking this one on y'all. This is Artisan Ethnique by La Tapa. Girl, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. This is gorgeous. I believe this has some rum in it. I believe it has a coffee note in it. She lasts all day. Mm. I'm sorry. Oh, mm. Mm -mm -mm. oh my goodness. She's a gem. She layers well. She can be worn alone. This is one of the new releases from the top of like they ain't releasing the fragrance every other week. They always releasing something. I purchased mine from TikTok. $49.50. Cause they love that 50 cent. And they love the 49.50s now. But this one? Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. I like the bottle. It is cute. It is not over the top dramatic is heavy and is weighted just like the um ensemble gold by latafa this one is beautiful y'all this if you like like warmer scents like the kawas and the kamaras and stuff like that then you would like this but it doesn't smell like those it doesn't smell like those at all i thought it would smell like kawa or angel sheer 
I thought it would smell even like uh, Camaro. I was like, do I really need this? Yeah. This one is different than those. This one's like giving me creamier. It's giving me like rum, but it's not giving me too warm like Camaro or Kawa. It's not giving me that. It's giving me something different. And I'm glad because I didn't want to keep repeating fragrances in my collection. I don't, I'm tired of doing that. I don't want to do that. This one is definitely different than those. I love this. I feel like it's definitely going to carry you into the winter time. All the way to is back to just being, you no know, spring. But this one is definitely beautiful. If you can get it on sale, get it on sale. Get it on sale because they be acting crazy with these prices now but that is artisan ethnique if y'all got this comment below let me know what you think about it because this one is gorgeous so that is all i have for you today let me know what your fragrances that you're looking forward to wearing this fall are especially the arabian fragrances i would love to know we would all love to know drop some gems for us because i ain't got every one of them but I'm not also turning a blind eye to some new ones, okay? So, if you made it this far, go ahead and push subscribe because you love it here, okay? Make sure that you're engaging with me. You know I love talking back. Um, Don't be no stranger. You know what I'm saying? I, I be seeing some of y'all be on it. I'm like, they notification bell is definitely on. <laughs> and they're clicking it as soon as they see it, and I appreciate y'all. Until next time. Bye.